New at 10 tonight, an announcer for a live stream of an Oklahoma girls high school basketball game facing a lot of criticism tonight after he was heard cursing and then calling one team by a racial name as the players kneeled during the national anthem. Angelicia Bruton reports from our Oklahoma City station. As the national anthem starts, a broadcast announcer is heard expressing his feelings towards the Norman girl's choice to kneel. This is just a sign of the times. It's more of the abuse and uh, things we have to deal with as people of color. Instead of looking at what the real issues are, um, a lot of this negativity is, is just based off of hate. Fred Henderson's daughter plays for the team and says the team has been kneeling the entire season. Although the girls won last night, he says his daughter is still hurting over the comments made. He's not taking it very well. Um, like me and my wife just tried to tell her to keep her head on, on straight and uh, try to concentrate. The OSSAA issued a statement saying they are investigating the incident and that crew will not be broadcasting at any more games for the remainder of the championship. National Federation of State High School Associations is contracted to stream the games. They also issued a statement saying they are sickened by the comments made and the thoughts expressed do not represent their network. The Norman Public School Superintendent wants action. I don't think uh, any investigation needs to be done. It's, it's plain and clear what was said. They will not be welcome streaming our games. That announcer, by the way, issued a statement late this afternoon apologizing for the comments, saying that he has embarrassed and disappointed himself, his family, and his friends. He went on to say, in part, I will state that I suffer type 1 diabetes, and during the game, my sugar was spiking. While not excusing my remarks, it is not unusual when my sugar spikes that I become disoriented and often say things that are not appropriate as well as hurtful. I do not believe that I would have made such horrible statements absent my sugar spiking.